Do you know what this is? I'm the one who found the ring. So I flew oh from Alabama. God. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> the accent. I flew from Alabama to return it to y'all. 2,502 miles away. Oh my God. I can't believe it. So it fits. It fits you now and you have okay, it back. Me... A friend of mine had this ring and he was unaware there were names inside of it. And so I asked him, could I find the owners? And he said, if you can. And so here I am, 2,502 miles from home to return the ring to the owner. It has a couple's name with a date of 1954, and then it has another couple's names inscribed inside with a date of 91. Um, I make jewelry, do custom handmade jewelry. And I knew that was special to somebody when I saw the two sets of names and two dates in it. We were just skiing and I always wear mittens. It was gone. Contacted the resort, contacted the sheriff's office, all the pawn shops in Bend. Everybody knew about it and we just kind of moved on with our life. He said um, it was under the Pine Martin Express Quad, I believe. Uh -huh. My mom's friend Elizabeth um, was a jewelry designer and designed it for her. She would talk about her friend and the ring kind of together. It was sort of the embodiment of their friendship. It's a big story it arc for just a ring, isn't it? I'm excited. I have a ring that fits. I don't have to ever <laughs> hide the fact that That's it was awesome. lost. Exactly. And I can wear it forever and ever and ever. And I think my mother-in-law is probably up there and she's so excited. I'm sure she is. Yeah. <laughs>